Hey you, you're familiar with the three R's, right? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Ever wonder where that system was born? Well, if we look to nature, we quickly see that the concept of zero waste is one that a few of the planet's scrappiest souls take to heart. Often, the biggest tasks fall on the littlest of backs. Dung beetles are arguably nature's greatest recyclers. As their name suggests, they work exclusively in waste management. Animal droppings might have us groaning and grossed out, but to these bugs, nothing could be closer to heaven on earth. Dung beetles eat, sleep, and work the world's dung into the dopest digs. It's not just food, it's literally the foundation of their lives. So much so that they lay their eggs in it. A dinner plate, a place of business, and a nest. Talk about multi-purposing your uh, resources. <laughs> so where do they get all their materials? Well, it all starts with the big guys. All of them eat, and all of them, uh, expel. But as you can see, one animal's waste is a dung beetle buffet. And it all comes back around. Just look to these elephants. Their dung gets repurposed into a beetle's food and shelter, creating a fresh hotbed of seeds that will then flourish into trees for the elephants to pick leaves off of. Masterful composters, you could say that dung beetles are big on paying it forward. Super cool planetary food chain. They're not the only ones who know how to sift through trash for the greater good. Vultures are like nature's custodians. They're birds of prey, yes, but unlike their contemporaries, vultures don't hunt. In fact, these guys never kill. They happen to be the only vertebrates who rely completely on scavenging for meals. Most vultures hang out where the herds do. It's a numbers game. All animals are bound to pass on at some point, and it's the vulture's job to eat up the leftovers before the carcass's dead and decaying flesh spreads disease. They need to conserve as much energy as they can, because they never know when their next meal will be. But they'll settle for whatever they can get. From rhinos to rabbits, the menu changes every day. Oh, look, they found the fresh remains of a giraffe. It's enough to go around, but that doesn't mean this meal will be a peaceful one amongst the flock. There are well over a hundred birds battling for position. Table manners are scarce. They don't need much time to feast though. Just five minutes is enough to fill the vultures up for two to three days. And their digestive systems can handle just about anything. They have highly acidic stomach juices that can break down skin and bone, even killing the microorganisms that thrive in decaying flesh. Yeah, vultures are built for this. Once they've picked the bones clean, what remains will slowly decompose back into the dust that gave them birth, feeding the trees and grasses that will return upon the next rainfall. Ah, dust to dust. Okay, so the vultures reduce waste, the dung beetles recycle, uh, dung. Hmm, anyone out there big on simply reusing? Oh, that's right, that's the hermit crab's bag. Unlike other crabs that produce their own shells, hermit crabs aren't born with homes to live in. Instead, these guys protect themselves in a very unique way. They slide into the vacated shells of marine snails. The crab's soft body needs protection from predators. Not to worry, nature has them covered. As they grow, hermit crabs will ditch their shells for ones that fit better, a natural real estate upgrade. Trading up also frees up those shells for other crabs on the hunt for a new crib. The housing market is constantly competitive, but as long as they keep checking their local listings, they'll find a way to survive. As we humans continue to advance our life here on Earth, it's important to be grateful for the resources we have. And part of that gratitude is reflected in how we reduce our waste and prioritize reusing and recycling goods. The planet is plentiful, sure, but it's a home we must share with unwavering care. And if we let them, these hardworking creatures can show us the way. <laughs>